and we're live welcome good morning it is stitchy witchy wednesday or um workshop wednesday as it is otherwise known i've got to take these off the desk whoops um so for those of you that are joining us this morning thank you so much it's lovely to have your company. Um, we are going to make, with the fabulous Jane Alcock, da -da -da -da, an advent calendar which lights up. Um, it's just taking it to the next level, isn't it? Yeah. Completely it yeah. taking it to the next level, which I'm super excited about. And I just think it looks gorgeous. Um, it wouldn't be a lie to say we've had to send the kids out for the day because they've both got their beady little eyes on it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they've already asked, are there chocolates in? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. No chocolate. No sugar. Get out. <laughs> they they were feral yesterday, weren't they? They're just Absolutely excited, feral. aren't they? I don't know whether it's the warm weather or what it is, but they're just so excited. I think it's a lack of sleep because of the weather. Yeah. Uh, no, we're all feeling like that, except I don't feel excited. I feel... Do you not feel excited? <laughs> <laughs> There's no excitement. No, 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 no. Uh, Shall we see who's with us this morning? We've got Christine <coughs> and Alison. Good morning. Uh, now then, nobody said hello. Not that I can see. Oh, yeah, oh, Helen's there. Morning. Dipping in and out today as quilting a wedding quilt for the weekend. Oh, how lovely. Morning, Lisa. Morning, Colette. She's morning, ladies. Morning, Heather. Oh, Heather Butcher. Is that the right one? Heather Butcher. Let me just check. Bear with me, Heather, just for a second, because your name came up this morning. Heather, butcher, let me just check, is that the same butcher? Yeah, I think so. Is the winner of last week's bundle, yay! Do you want to see what you're getting, Heather? Well, that's for children, isn't it? At least yeah, she's watching. That good. would have been awkward otherwise. Oh. You put the tangs in. <laughs> sweeties in there. Again, some sweeties, but more to the point, let's do a little overhead to see what Heather's won. Um, I can't remember what what do you have to do to, to do to get this? I can't remember. Order one of the Lewis and Irene kits. Was it order one of the Lewis and Irene kits? Oh well well done Heather because you have got some scissors, some thread, some little home uh, handmade tags, some tangs, um, a thimble, you've got a pin cushion, you've got a little sewing kit, you've got pins and safety pins. Oh, and a shed load of liberty in there by the look. Oh nice. Whole load of liberty going on in there. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice indeed. A nice little surprise. Um, all in a fabulous little sewing box. They're cute, these, aren't they? They're lovely. My nanny Mew gave me one when I was seven and I've still got it. Yeah. Um, it's just over there. And they just, they last, they last, they last. So that, Heather is winging its way to you. Congratulations, congratulations. Oh, I do like a nice giveaway. There we go. Um, Okay, so what else have we got? There we go. So yeah, that's you, Heather. Congratulations. Sandra and Diane. Hello, hello, hello. She loves the advent calendar. Uh, they are beautiful. Just really beautiful. And um, I might dip in and out and go and grab some of the Christmas fabrics as well, just to flash that about. But we do have quite a lot on the show today. So I'm not going to... Um, Morning, Natasha and Jane. Still warm, but not as sunny today in Renfrewshire. <laughs> they now, because I'm so bad at pronouncing everything, they now just write it phonetically for, for me. Why funny. isn't stuff just written phonetically? It would be much easier. Um, and then Michelle and Chris, you see, I should really, I should really have been, I'm just out of my era. If I'd have been in Shakespeare's time, if they just wrote it how it sounded, I'd have been all right. Yeah. Me and our Will, Bill, Bill and me, <laughs> we'd have got on. Be fine. Be fine. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so Heather, you just need to contact info at Natasha Makes so that we can get it all sent to you and make sure that we send it to the right address. But if you're in a caravan right now, uh, you might want to let us know when you want that sent. Um, we have got a half metre heavens galore. And because we had our CAFE interview on Monday, uh, I don't know why I needed to point to you at that. Um, we are very much cave themed for our half meet heavens because we need we need to share the cave love right definitely we Absolutely. do we do uh, and also because i'm seeing him next week so excited actually like in the flesh in the flesh seeing at festival of quilts very very excited we've got all of our um all of our filming lined up and 
Oh, how lovely. Jesse's coming to be our cameraman. It's very exciting. Oh, good to see Jesse again. Oh, well, I thought I have to bring him back. Yeah. So Jesse used to be what? What did he do? Did he produce or direct at Sewing Quarter? Director, wasn't he? And cameraman. He did a bit of everything. Yeah. He looked a bit like Johnny Bravo, but dark. Yeah, and with a beard. And with a beard. But he was, you know, he would just... I remember the day that his car broke down. <laughs> like, Jesse, just look at you. You could have just picked it up with one hand. Because <laughs> he, he has the biggest shoulders that I've ever seen. He's really tall he as is well, really isn't tall, he? really tall, yeah. Just, he's, yeah, that's what I mean. He's like built like Johnny Bravo. And um, yeah. But yeah, really yeah. gentle. Really gentle nature. A gentle giant. Absolute gentle giant. So uh, yeah, I'm really thrilled to be working with him again. It's really lovely. Um, so he's going to, he's going to, He's going to do all the filming for us and all the okay. post-production stuff. And it's just really nice to be able to work and use really nice people. Use sounds wrong. You know what I mean. Work with, with employ, yeah. do all that kind of stuff. Um, right, do you want to see some um, half mirror heavens? Oh, morning, Julia. Morning, Jane. Morning, Elizabeth. Uh, you've not been distracted by puppies then today? It's normally, that's normally the class. Look at the puppies. <laughs> I was looking at puppies. Um, Tracy added me to... Uh, a dog rehoming group, that's brutal. Oh no. I know. No, I know. Um, right. This is a half me ten plus. I have only got a handful of these, but 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 look at the greens. So you've got motor grunge seeing stars, but with the metallic gold. But look how it picks up these bit. It's just perfect. And those greens, I was like, yeah. You need to be having a lining or something for that. So we have got those. We've got, because we know that grunge goes so beautifully with cave, we've got quite a few. Yeah. Uh, this is your coleus in blue. Love coleus in blue. Remember, do take a look on the website, because, you know, well, this isn't there, because we used the last of it, but it's all cut to order on the website. It's all there for you. We've and got some beautiful colours in we've coleus, got haven't we? Beautiful colours. Coleus is one of my favourites. Um, and this is with plum. And again, I only had six of these left. So this is now with um, see, Moda Seeing Stars in plum. But how beautifully does that all work together? Look how that rich. Oh, so I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? Delicious. Um, I know, I know. So it is a bit of a special one um, for you all today. And um, oh, now this one. You know, I said to you, because you pointed out the, I left the um, batik on the side and yeah. you went, oh, that's a bit pretty. This is what I put it with. So this is your paper fans. Oh, oh look, at look what that does to the, <laughs> look what it does to the green. Because uh, it's got, there are so many different shades of green through here to give the texture of the fans. And it, oh, I put this with a really dark colour last time. I was very sophisticated. It gave it a whole different feel. Yeah. But this with Green the really batty. It jabs it, doesn't it? Look at that. It sinks. So I'm just, yeah, lots of love for that. I'm kind of guessing that you guys love a batik. Um, and I hope so, because I've just started to stock a whole load more. So at some point, we'll start getting them up cut to order, because they are beautiful, really beautiful. Now, this is Dream. Um, I have decided in my wisdom, um, that at some point I am going to make pyjamas out of Dream. It just Pajama needs to be done. Because be done with a name like Dream, order. and it needs, yeah, it's those big bold prints. Um, the other thing to tell you is that the Everlasting Bouquet kilt, quilt, quilt. Blah, quilt kits, you know the wall hanging that I did with yes. all of the Philip Jacobs and the um, floral, well the actually no, behind it was, you. Yeah, the kits, yeah, the kits behind me, but the wall hangings in the sample box in the hall. Yeah. Um, well, I've done this one because it picks out all of the blue round here. And I just thought it was rather... Yeah, look at that with that. Ooh, very pretty. It's so pretty. Um, it is super pretty. So I did half with the blue. You know how sometimes I like to do halfy, halfy, 50, 50 job? Do you want to see my halfy, halfy, 50, 50 job with this? Yeah. Because the other half... I don't know why I've just folded that. Um is with the aqua. So we've got it with sky and we've got it with aqua. But I didn't have much of the aqua left. But look oh, how that pretty that is. The leaves, doesn't it? But you know how sometimes I say, if you were to go for both, because those work beautifully together as well, 
how would that that's your quilt done Pierce, yeah well i mean obviously you've got to like yeah, cut it a bit it, sew it a bit but you know <laughs> otherwise you know the buying of it the bit that we go oh i don't know what to do over that's done we like that i just realized i haven't had breakfast that's why i'm feeling a little hungry Goes with that one. I don't know what happened to this morning. It, one minute I was I was arriving, and the next minute it was two minutes to ten. And yeah, we one like, minute it was yeah. like seven o'clock. I, I feel like it was seven o'clock for quite a long time this morning, mm. and, and then, then suddenly, then suddenly not. <laughs> oh, I love Paisley Jungle. Oh, look at this. Is that not just a vine? This is one of Cave's, and I just beautiful. and look, 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 look. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But there's purple in here as well. And there's purple in the grunge. And it just goes, yes, 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 yes. Tick every box. Thank you very much. They're not all with Moda today. There are a lot. I, I, I'm not going to apologise for that because I think they're fabulous. Um, but there are quite a lot. Um, do you want to see this one? Because this is why I didn't have very much aqua left. This is Paisley Jungle in Hot Tomato. Oh, oh no. Tangerine, rather. I mean, it could have been a hot tomato, but look at it with that. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? And actually, this colour picks out the darker colour in there. I was a big fan. Big fan. I love this. That would make just a lovely, like, you you know, your infinity scarf. Yes. Thing. That would look lovely, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Um, I've also made loads of pouches out of this, and they're just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Uh, because this, it looks like... Because it's a bit, 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 bit lacy. Yeah. Um, and i tell you what else went with the aqua th this morning. And that is luscious. Just can we have a moment to enjoy how those leaves suddenly <laughs> pop. pop. Yeah. Without. And with. Pow, 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 pow. Right? Brilliant. Pow, 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 pow. Um, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I didn't put everything with a grunge. It feels like it right now, doesn't it? Um, last one of the grunges for like a couple of seconds um <laughs> this is big blooms i love big blooms and again if you're going to do my everlasting bouquet why not pop in some of these because they're absolutely perfect, they're perfect really easy to fussy cut um or just make a beautiful bag out of it it's up to you i've actually got a cushion cover on my sofa out of this one this particular one and, and sometimes I, you just want a big chunk of the fabric don't well, you? you do with nothing else on it and i didn't i just backed it in a blue because yeah. that then went with my sofa but look you see you could back your cushion in this this is moda seeing stars in raspberry and ping 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 and we're good to go i think that's lovely which is just as well yeah well i mean it, i think they're all lovely because i've put them together uh, <laughs> and <coughs> morning steph morning michelle i've still got that bit of cotton at the back of my throat mm. it's been making me cough all morning now this is another one that i got super excited about this is your baroque floral that's a bit stunning it's a bit good isn't it it's a bit gorgeous oh there we go i mean it technically goes that way around but you know between friends and all that with lime oh wow uh, that just yeah, zings it doesn't, doesn't it? it does i put it with pink before but oh, now I'm just, I'm all about that lime. Look how that just... <laughs> oh, yes. These all go live at midnight. Oh, by the way, have you all found our clearance page, our fabric clearance page? Just wondering. Is it full of loads of bargains? Well, as we start to clear for moving into the warehouse, um, yes, any we've bolts got, that... We've got quite a bit of stuff. We've we? got a little <laughs> bit of stuff, yeah. And I don't really want to move it all if we can't, if we haven't... If, it, if there's not enough, case in point, I'm going to show you some stuff that we've put on at a really good price. Um, but when it arrived, I wasn't sent quite enough to do what I wanted to do with it. Yeah. So it's a beautiful collection, but it's not enough for a whole show. Yes, and that's a that's So a then, it's, then it's like, ah. Uh, um, but it's a collection, so I don't want to half me to heaven it because it is a beautiful collection in its own right. So you can dip in and out and get what you want. This is Grandi Flory. Floral. That is so pretty. Flora. Grandi yeah. Flora. That's the one. Um, I thought we had this up by the half metre to buy, but I couldn't actually find it when I came to adjust the stock, just so you know, Gemma. Um, but I mean, it's rather gorgeous. I've put it with sangria. That's sangria. one of our new colours, isn't it? It the is sangria. one of our new colours. Oh, so I make absolutely no apologies for bringing back the older uh, Brassica Sky with Sky. I mean, it would have been rude not, not to. to. 
Exactly that, Jane. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly that. <laughs> I'm giggling because Gemma and I normally finish each other's sentences. <laughs> But there was a day where I was trying really hard to say something uh, and she kept sort of finishing my sentences. She kept giving, I was like, nope, that's not it. So she'd give me another option to finish my sentence. We finally got there, didn't we? I like it that we all know each, what each other are saying. Um, I was like, no, that's not the <laughs> sentence then that I need. It's similar, but not quite the same. The Grandi Floral. The Grandi Flora. Yes. Um, how many minutes have we got of that? Because it is loaded. Is it loaded? I, I couldn't oh, find um, it to take down. Yeah, so how many have I need to take down? Oh, it was the first one I cut, so, um, you know. Oh, put it on the plane. Yeah, because that's, that's my new thing, isn't it, to put it on the plane. I've only cut six because I wasn't okay. sure, so I wanted to be really cautious. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I that's don't think I need right to see. Colour, isn't it? Say anything really about that. That is your cactus flower tawny and all sorts of mode of goodness there. Beautiful. That didn't have the name on the end of the bowl. I'm guessing it's papaya punch. Uh, it looks like papaya to me. But it doesn't actually say. It's just got a number on it. it so if anybody down. wants to know, it's uh, Moda Grand Seeing Stars number 30148. That's exciting. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Get me with my numbers. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't quite have the same effect, does it, as papaya punch it or doesn't, mango? It doesn't zing. <laughs> Inga wants to rename all of the... Um, all 82 of the uh, of batiques. the batiks that we've got in. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, it's a lot of naming, but she took because she's got all of her um, sciencey background. Mm. She'll just name them lots of minerals and things. Yeah, and it'll be beautiful. She did it with the salt batiks actually. She did a cracking job. Um, Tiddlywinks rust with sky. Very nice. Look you at like that, how that just pops the green and the little bits of It's amazing, isn't it? In there. It is amazing. But again, this was the end of the bolt. Um, so that is that. Is that. Um, and then, oh, now, this one. I this love one, that colourway. It's so, I don't know what it is. It's just cool and sophisticated. It's, yeah, and it gentle. is, isn't it? Gentle, I think. So I've put it with ballet slipper, Moda Grunge ballet slipper, because when you get up close to the grunge, it's got all these colours in. We've got a couple, literally a couple left of this with, I think it was Harissa, where we went for one of these brownie colours. And browns and pinks I really love together. So yeah. I've sort of done it on purpose because there's a couple of those left in the shock cotton which no. is really beautiful. So this with the one with the shot cotton would just make the most stunning, exquisite quilt or bag or anything really. But just, um, it's got a bit of a yesteryear feel to it, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's a... There's that sort of softness to it, I think. I, I should, I, not, not exactly antique, but you yeah, know what I mean. It's sort of gentler it's, somehow. It is gentler, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Kate will always do a pastel, a pastel combo. I think we think of Kate as being like powy colours in your face, like look at me. But he does always do does a gentler do palette. Gentler yeah, no, he always well. does. Um, this is one of my favourites. This is um, of Brandon's. This is Barley Brocade. It's lovely. You could have so such fun fussy cutting that and and. Um, it's not just that I want. I want to it. use this to just sash something. Yeah. Like Let's something really up. huge. I just want to, I've seen it. I've seen this used as a sashing on something and it, and it got me thinking. It's not always easy to get hold of. And we did this, um, I've got one megameter with that, with that lemon left. That's already on the website, um, which would just work so beautifully together with a half meter heaven of that. Um, and then, and I told you it was all cave today, didn't I? Yeah. This is the very last that we have of the amaryllis. And I've put that with marine because that's always, it picks out those blues and I just, just works love with it. that. I think I was channeling my cooler self today because I've put, we've got quite a lot of blues and greens and things in here today. But I think that's just because I was feeling a bit warm and I was it's like, thinking about it's being more cooler. of a sort of sunshiny, summery palette, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah, yeah. I think the sunshine and that affects the colours and everything. So this is with aqua. 
That's and I lovely. just, it's enchanted. So this is Caves Enchanted in blue and I've put it with aqua. And again, you know, Fussy cut out these big, big blooms. They're just beautiful. That's my favorite colors in that. Oh, me, me too. And I think, you know, I, I gravitate to them massively. Um, and then this is such a delicate one. I do love this one. This is Ferns in Periwinkle. That's a beautiful colour blue and it's almost on the like lilac -y, um cool lavender -y yeah. tones, isn't it? And then um, that little ping of pink. That little ping of pink, which I've put there, which is fuchsia, which I still can't spell. Gemma keeps trying to r remind me of ways to spell it. No, I always it, get it the wrong way around. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. It's, it, it is not how you think it's going to be spelt. But luckily, Gemma now does the spelling for these things, so that's all absolutely fine. Um, hello, 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 hello. Um, <laughs> Sue, hello. Hi. Did I miss the Christmas things? No, we haven't done Christmas yet. <coughs> we always start off. So on a, th on a Wednesday, we'll always start off showing you the Half Meter Heavens that will go live tomorrow because we're not live on a Thursday. Although saying that, we've got quite a few things, quite a few collections that I do really want to show you all at some point. So I might have to put in a few sneaky Facebook lives. Um, yeah, so the kit that I was talking about is the Everlasting Bouquet, which is in one of those boxes in the hall. Do you want me to see if I can yeah, find it? Yeah, possibly the second box down. You might hit a little bit. But it was the one that I did with the big vase, and, um, and it, it sold out. And I've been waiting for months. We keep being asked for it. And I've been waiting for months for this. <laughs> it's all been hinging on this. Um, so now we've got this back in stock. I can create the rest of the kit. It's got one color different. Um, and that was, I think it was the amaryllis. So uh, it just went in a different colorway. Uh, so you've got your four different florals there. That's uh, your fat quarter to make your vase. And then you fussy That's cut all of that. You use your st steamer seam um, to apply everything. Yeah, and off you go. Um, I used a creative grid, the wave ruler, creative grid to get the, uh, the curve. But you can just do straight borders, should you wish. If it's not there, Jane, don't worry. It came back. It was on Ho Chando at the, the, mm. the, the craft store last week. No, it appears to have... Um, Actually, do you know what else I meant to tell you? What we've restocked. So these, these were the Lisa, San, uh, Lisa Chandler saddle satchels. And I have got three colourways for you. Nice. Just, they're just, they were going to go on and then I was doing a CAFE one day special. So we didn't because the CAFE wasn't coming from me. Um, but if you would like, now this was originally done with shot cotton, but I've run out of that. So I've done the closest color that I can. So these are all cut for the amounts that you need. So that's gonna be your outer, that's your outer, these are your linings. So they are a different price from the other ones because the other ones that we did all had shot cotton and um, had 60 centimeters of each so that you could decide which. That's gonna be your outer, that's gonna be your line. So the 60 centimeter one is your contrast on the bag there but like I say they're up on the website I need to make that one up into a sample yeah slash for myself um, just beautiful just beautiful um, so there they are they've all now been cut they're on the website as well and what else what else what else what else what else uh, we're gonna load a few more of the cluck kits for anybody that was waiting lots of you've been asking when um, the House of Zandra is going to launch it. We've got a date now. It's going to be Tuesday next week. Exciting. Tuesday next week. Um, again, lots of you have been getting hold of your flatter sprays. Well done you. We've still got those on a cracking deal. Now, talking of cracking deals, I've got some beautiful, beautiful batiks, summer metallic. Um, we've put them on at a really good price. They're like £6.50. I think Gemma yeah, said something, something like, like that. that. A half I think meter. the metallics are slightly more than the. They might be the slightly more. Um, and I'll, I'll show you. They kind of need to be shown together. This is what I say. This wasn't enough to do a whole show, but they were really, really beautiful. They're gorgeous colours. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, I I think they're on the deals page. I think that's where Gemma's going to put them. Um, Tasha, have you got any more of the house advent calendar left? Can't see it on the website. Made one a couple of years ago. It's all um, sold out, the house one. The house one has sold out, but I'll see if I can get some more. Morning, Carol. 
um, quilting a couple of quilts. Very, very good. Um, right, so let's have a look at these, shall we? Because they are insanely beautiful. And I feel a bit sad that we're just discounting them straight away. But look at these. They've got that gorgeous, gorgeous metallic. Um, you know what I didn't do, actually, Jane? And let's change the camera angle for that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? So this one and that one, I mean, look at that. These are your metallics. I've got three metallics. One, two, and... Jane was wearing the most amazing pair of harem pants yesterday. And I have to say, I was tempted to just not sell these at all and just make a lot of harem yeah. pants. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. That was kind They'd of... Look lovely, wouldn't they? They would they, look they, incredible. The way the metallic would just shimmer as would you were walking Would just shimmer around. and zing, yeah. Um, so, in terms of... And then we've got these... And they're just such beautiful batiks, absolutely stunning. So th the metallics are kind of your mixers, and then I'll put them in like different colour families for you as much as I can. Because, 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 you've got this lighter one here, which is picking up some greens and some purples in there. And again, you can sit that against any of those. And that's going to work. But then you've got like this one, which brings in the pinks and works so beautifully over here, but also works really beautifully there. And then you've got this colorway here, which works so beautifully with that one. And you could pull in your metallic that way, or you could pull in your brown metallic that way. They intermingle so beautifully, so, so beautifully. And then you've got, you see, it's paisleys. I'm always drawn to paisleys, aren't I? You've got that one, which again, so I would be putting like those ones, those three together and then mixing that. But that's just that's just a serving suggestion. They are beautiful and they are batiks and they are really rather stunning. And like I say, they're on a really special price. Um, enjoy, enjoy. Uh, right now in the meantime, uh, Jane is going to come and show us how to make the advent calendars. We've got various advent panels. I can always see if I can get more of the house. I'll just send a quick message and see what I can do about that. It would be on a delayed dispatch, but from the supply they're coming from, not much, I would imagine. No, if they've got them in stock, they'll be here the no. end of the week, probably. And, um, there we go. That's that all hoofed out of the way. Um, I'm going to have to take a plug with me. Oh, no, actually. It's going to take the lead. I forgot to charge it overnight. Silly me. Uh, I'm going to leave you with Jane. Thank you and bye-bye. Did you want to show the mega bundle for the applique? Oh, Jane. Good job. You've got a brain in today, isn't it? I've left mine somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely forgot about that as well. So, yesterday we did the Baltimore and we kept saying, look, we've got mega bundles and um, we did the mega bundle with block one, didn't we? Where you got block one and then you got all your backing fabric. Yeah. And your, um, was that the sashing and the... Oh, I can't remember which way around it went now. Um, I think you could either get just your, like your, your backing. We did a big chunk of backing, which is... Three metres. Three metres of your backing. Because you'll have to join it. At, at a really great price. Or yeah. if you wanted your and sashing and block one. So the sashing is a metre and a half of the Lisa Chandler, but it don't make it look like it all goes together because I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I think it was that you could get... Gemma will have to tell us if it's wrong. It was, yeah, I didn't block, know if it was block one with the sashing, I think. Yeah. And then you could choose which back, backing. I think that's how it went. And so then that's all your of that. bundle of fat quarters and you'll get threads with that as well. Don't yeah, you? yeah, there are threads on their way. And, you um, and that goes, so you could get that with your sashing. So Jane, if you just separate out, take out the leaves for a second. So you and get that. That, and now, so we're offering it with block two because I'm very aware that we offered this as a mega bundle for block one. don't know if we put the backing in. I don't think we did put the backing in. I can't remember now. Gemma will tell us. Anyway, yeah. it's on the website. It'll Gemma be on the website. It'll be under today's um, feed, won't it? Mm. It'll be there, all there. 
Morning, Lo. Are you out panel boarding again? Um, yeah, so we've got those, and again, we will we will honour the same deal. And um, I think here she comes. She's going to tell us now what it is. Oh, here she is. The so one what knows. One, we did um, the, obviously your block one pack, but with the backing three meters, the bar, the sashing and binding. Oh, we did half. put it all together. It all My together mistake. I'm so sorry, Jane. Scissors. Yep. So, so we will do that again. So the backing, the sashing, basically everything that Jane just had on there with so a free pair of scissors thrown in. So this is all of this. We've already bought block one. So if you've bought block one. As a, as a standalone as a block, standalone block. And then have decided actually you want to do the whole quilt. And now you want to do this the whole is quilt. how you get your backing and your sashing and all of that. Yeah, so we'll try and, you know, I know that at some point everyone's going to need to buy backing. So we'll keep So that's the backing you, of the quilt, yeah. which is three metres of um, gum leaves. And then you've got your sashing, which is the fan. There's a fly in here that's like decided it likes me very much. Um, <laughs> and then you've got your fat quarters, which make your block. And your needle and, and your thread. Your threads, your threads and are threads coming today. And you'll get your curved scissors. And you'll get a free embroidery. pair of embroidery scissors, scissors. Of embroidery scissors in there with it as well. Um, That's if you haven't. I mean, if you've already done that with block one, you don't need to do it again. You'll just, just need your block two, on its, yeah. block two yeah. on its own. And of course, if you spend over £100, don't forget to use your code INSPIRA100 BTS so that you can get your free scissors. Now, Jane, you have some stockings there, don't you? Yeah, this is a little bundle that. Um, Natasha's put together using Lisa fabric. Now you're going to get the pattern in here for free. Do you want to spin it around so it's looking at you and I'll go overhead. There we go. There we go. So you've got your pattern with all the instructions. And, and your template just, and everything in your there. Your template's in there, but you'll have to put it together. But it's very clearly denoted where you need to join it. So your pattern's there. And then we've chosen this op colour option. So you'll get your H640, which will be your adhesive wadding yep and then your um i've forgotten the name of the flowers um Pans. it's the f f f f f f f i want to say frangipan but that's the one uh, no it's not frangipan it is it begins with a fur does it say on the salvage oh it's just gone straight out of my head no me too because it was there oh goodness anyway beautiful that's and they look a little bit poinsettery but they're not but they're not but they look like them and then your ivory gold um, mini floral. Oh gosh, if if um, if Lisa's watching, um, I'm so sorry. It just no, it no, just no, flannel went, flower, flannel flower. That's flower. it. Well, well done. done. We got there. Fur, 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 we knew we got with a fur, and then it went out of my head. And then your um, small flowering, um, your small floral yeah. in uh, in oh, got the gold. cream and gold. gold. So you've got that metallic. So that's going to be the topper. So um, that's your bundle. That'll be your bundle, and you can do. One stocking from that. Cass is just a message going, flannel flower. <laughs> Sorry, lesson. Cass, we got there in the end. We got there. Oh, Jeff bought me some flatter, says Lo. He asked me why he bought it. I told him he must have dementia, starting when he can't remember buying things and <laughs> what he bought them for. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's fine. We're all, we're all good with, with flatter. Um, just look, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we've got the panels today. Well, we've got the panels anyway, but today I'm going to show you the panels. We've got the large stocking. Now you can make one one big stocking or you could make two big stockings if you bought another piece of fabric for backing. You can either put those two together to make one or you could just use these two as fronts and get some more fabric just to do the back of the stocking. The instructions, oh I thought the instructions were on the panel for this but they're not, but if you go onto the Macawa website they give you the instructions for yeah, I mean, together. It, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory um, but yeah. And it's got all the instructions for cutting and things on there. So that's the big stocking panel. I do with a lovely it's got jolly metallic Father in Christmas there as well. Beautiful isn't it? metallics. There's an additional there's additional things on here. This stripey is your cuff and the loop. And then um, you've also got the little tags which you could embroider to hang from the stockings if you wanted to. Look. This Father Christmas and this and the um, snowman on there. So they're additional, and there's another one there. I mean, you could make that into a tree hanging if you wanted to, or attach it to your stocking, whichever you wanted to do. Beautiful. Um, Lisa's just texted me. She said that the petals feel like flannel. Oh, right. actually feel like flannel. Wow. So that's the large stocking panel, and then we've got the advent stocking panel. Now these are really fun. 
you've got 24 stocking shapes here which you would have to add backing to but then you can make those and hang them like bunting are these um these are 60 <coughs> centimeter ones aren't they yes so you'd need just well yeah you'd need just over half a meter yeah. of of your backing fabric but to be honest you know the backing fabric isn't 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 expensive is it no and then you've got something that you can bring out every year and what i thought is if you went for a meter of a red or a gray yes and we do have listed um i mean we've the got our linen scandi. effect yeah, yeah the, the scandi. scandi red and, and yeah, gray the for these effect. as well and we've also got like the Scandi stars or the Scandi snowflakes. They'd look lovely on the back of there as well. So if you wanted to up your game and put some of those in, they'd yeah. look absolutely gorgeous because that's and all part of the same kit. Make little, add little ribbon loops into there and then but you hang can do them your on binding. tape and make yeah. it. And but it you... makes it beautiful. But the instructions are on here on this panel. There's instructions there about how to construct your stocking. That um, fly is a biting one, Jane. Yes, I know. It's horrible. It's I've a cattle fly and they're really annoying. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the mini stocking advent. That's the Scandi mini stocking one. Then we've got Santa's workshop advent calendar, which is really cute. And this is going to look rather look gorgeous this. again with the lights, Can isn't it? Can you see that? Look at that. I've got it upside down. I forget the sun when it's overhead. I'm looking at me. Look at that. So for those of you, until I can find out whether or not I can, um, I can get the house that Jane's got up there, because that sold out before, uh, before. Well, I took the panel home, and then by the time I'd finished the sample, it sold, <laughs> sold out. <laughs> yeah, it's all about that. That's all right. That's what happens. Um, what we, what, spray what the fly with do. flatter, says Lou. I might, but what if it gave him like superpowers? It's not going to do him any harm, though, is it? Because it's all natural stuff. I was going to say it's all natural. He'd probably enjoy it. Yeah. And again, you've got. All your instructions on these panels Perfect. for the advent calendars and also it's got for more info visit so the email the um, website address is on there and, it, and it, I think they've even got videos on there to show but you can always watch me back again if you wish to yeah. on YouTube so that's the Santa's workshop which has got all elves and presents and and probably aimed at children possibly or big kids big children and we've also got santa's express which is really lovely this has got the train on with the elves oh my goodness and the sleigh trains with elves come on right in there in the little going through the village and all your little pockets go on the train and some of the houses and everything there and um, that's gorgeous i have a nephew that would just go crazy for that isn't that lovely? Loves a train. It's so colorful the nice thing about these is that they're all going to work up the same size. Yeah. So if you have got grandkids or children and you want the same but different, yeah. so there are no arguments. They're all no going to be the same principle. No, nope. yep. this is it. And, and the lights are going to work. So what we're going to show you today is how to put lights into your advent calendar. And um, it's going to work with all of these. Yeah. Now, Gemma and I got very excited when we were talking about putting lights into this panel. This is called, um, I think it's called London... London Christmas Advent Calendar. And this is, you know, for your grown-up children. Oh, fabulous. Or if you've Grown-up teenage children that like shopping. But then maybe you've got some that live abroad and you want to give them yeah, a little reminder, little reminder, of, reminder of, home. of home. Yeah. But the pockets actually go around the outside edge of the main panel of this, which you can have fun quilting. Nice. You can have fun quilting this and embellishing it, but if you wanted to put your lights in... Gemma and I was going, oh, you can put them in the in the lights of the taxi. You can put oh. them in the lights of the shop window. Oh, yeah. You can put them in Big Ben and you can put them in the stars and the big and the London Eye there. You could get, you, you if could you have had such different fun coloured with ones, yeah. you could put one on the nose of the... Um, on the reindeer. You could get some alcohol markers yeah, just and colour just colour in one. one in red. You could put the tr them in the tree. You know, the, when I show you the, the process of doing this, you will then suddenly think, oh, well, I can put these in anything. Because the principle of putting lights in a, in a quilted project is quite straightforward. I mean, the thing with, with the advent calendars in, they're not going to be used all the time. Um, and you can, you can take the lights out when you put them away for next year. I've got um, a Christmas tree panel that I do. And I don't have a Christmas tree because we don't spend Christmas at home. I put the Christmas tree panel up. And anybody that brings us presents, they get put under that tree, that oh, panel. Nice. Right, yeah. And then when we go to Mum's on Christmas Day, I just keep <coughs> all those parcels up and 
take them with me, but I don't have to worry about the tree. And Perfect. then this one, look at this one. This is a full of dog lovers in the, in the, out there. This is Yappy Christmas. Um, I will get there in a minute. I've just, <coughs> I've just pressed the wrong button and just cleared everything. Soz, everyone. There we go. <laughs> this is Yappy Christmas. And again, the pockets are down here. So you can have fun quilting the panel up here and you can put your lights in the trees. Now, you see, I don't know if or I'm the on only the end one of the noses of the dogs. Whose dogs get an advent Well, you an see, advent tree. I've just recently, my... Would I be crazy? Would I be the only and one? and his fiance have just had a puppy. So I am now the proud grandmother of the grand dog. Oh. So I'm going to make mine for my little Luna. And I'm going to put little, love it. Little, chocolate, little biscuits in there for her. Little bonios, little gravy yeah, bones. gravy bones or something like that. So, yeah, you know, there are, there are people like us out there that like to give up. <laughs> and then there's Lo, who'd like to put the lights in the eyes of the elves to scare the children away from the chocolates. I mean, there uh, are always options. There's always options. There's always <laughs> options. Um, and she also said that the flat display would flatten, flatten, the, uh, flatten the fly. Flatten the fly. Flatten the fly. That's I wish it idea. would, because I've just hit myself quite hard thinking I'd got it and yeah. just realised I'd just, just, and just hit bruised myself. Your arm. Oh, Elizabeth says congratulations on the grand dog. Yeah, I got a grand puppy. She just passed her level one obedience last oh, night did she? as well. Yes, so amazing. We're, we're ultra proud of her. Oh, our little Luna. She's lovely. She's lovely. So right. all of these gorgeous. Ow! All and of these gorgeous and options. Natasha is going to see if we can get the house back as well. I've, so the message has been sent, Jane. The message yeah. has been sent. So that's it. <coughs> you know what else we've got on the way? Um, a load of you have been asking for the um, the Odile fabrics. Oh, that we sold out in. of and I've just had confirmation when you when you get a shipping order in French you know yeah you happy, I know exactly happy dance. so yeah I will have all of those back in stock very soon okay. and more that we didn't manage to get first time around um because they've just done a reprint which is Wonderful. very exciting yes 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 because it's one of the collections that she does for herself and not through free spirit right she just reprints when she needs fabulous, fabulous. now um this is Jane's sort of accessories kit isn't it yeah we've got we're going to do it um because some of you will have already bought your advent calendar calendars and so you won't want to buy the whole lot again Shebang. so we've put together um a 60 centimeter piece of scarlet plain scarlet for the backing and um a 60 centimeter I don't know what it, I don't know what the length of it is, but because we t we cut a sixty centimetre from the width and then we've cut it in half, so it's sort of well we can just measure it, can't we? It's a roundabout. Don't hold me to it. It's probably about thirty, maybe thirty-two your piece, because this is a bit longer than the because I just cut off what I needed for that one, and this is the other half of it. So you're going to get a good chunk of um, it's R eight. R80. R80. So the R80 is the um, is the wadding that Vieslina Vieslina make out of entirely recycled um, plastic bottles. So that's why we stock it. It's the only uh, it is the only polyester one that we we stock. But it's a it's really nice polyester wadding. It's nice and light. It's got it's nice to quilt with. It does, it's not too poofy poofy. Um, so it, it was ideal for the advent calendars and it would be ideal for um, children's play mats and things, I, I feel, because it's, nice, it's a nice lightweight and of course because it's polyester it won't shrink when you wash it. Perfect, perfect. And then we've got some lights and we've got, um, my lights that I've got in my, ca my calendar are slightly different but we had trouble finding those at a sensible price. They were really expensive. So Natasha's been able to source some of the wired ones and I'll show you how these will work in our advent calendar so you'll get the wadding the backing a pack of lights and then a, a piece of ribbon and I think it's a meter piece but you'll have more than you need if you have a meter piece that I've used to make the tabs at the top um, you could make the tabs for the top out of um, fabric as well if you wanted to but, but you'll we'll get to pop, we're popping pop the a, ribbon in pop a we? bit of me yeah. ribbon into the kit Oh, Jess has just joined us. She said Christmas. She's late because her youngest, it was the youngest last day of primary. Aww. 
It goes in a flash, doesn't it? It just flies. Um, and then she had breakfast with her mum friends after drop off. Not a dry eye. What have I missed? Christmas will cheer me up. Um, lights and advent calendars, Jess. Lights and advent calendars. Um, it's just gorgeous. Just, just lovely. Gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how to, on this one, I'm going to show you how to make the pocket into the backing and put the, the quilt together. And because I want to do a bit more quilting on the front of this, I will then show you on that one how I made it for taking the lights. It's just because, you know, that's what I wanted to do. So with your advent calendars, you will always get your pockets at the bottom of your panel. And on the Yappy Christmas, they're just a straight strip of, of pockets. And you can see those there. And the panel always has the cutting line on it. Now, on the Macawa panels, the cutting line for the pockets is a solid line. The dotted line is a fold line. It can be a bit confusing because we tend to think of a cutting line as being a dashed line, and it's not. On these panels, it's a solid yeah. line. Yeah, yeah. Now, for the um, houses and some of the children's calendars, I say the children's calendars, they, they don't have to be children's calendars. You get individual pockets and you get pairs of pockets and sometimes you'll get a strip of pockets. So you can see on these, you've got the individual cutting lines. They're a solid line and then this line is a fold line. It's quite faint on these ones, but you can see it. It probably doesn't pick it up so well on the camera, but you can see it quite easily when you're actually cutting it yourself. Now my tip to you is when you've got individual pockets or you've got a row of pairs, cut your strip into rows first and do the hems at the top all in one go and then cut it up into the into the into either the pairs or the single one. It just saves you time and I, found, I find it easier to do it in a long strip rather than little individual ones. In the instructions, it tells you just to fold it over once, press it, and then hem it. Mm. I like to fold mine over twice just because it gives a neater edge. There's not a lot of fabric, so it literally is like an eighth of an inch, and you might find it's too fiddly. So if you fold it over once and just hem it, it's fine. Yeah. But I like to have a double hem on mine. The other thing that you can do is um, just make them as little pockets. Yeah. And, and, you know, get some extra backing fabric and just make them, you know, just, just back them and back yeah, them out. back them out. Um, so I'm now going to show you how to do the folds on them because they're like box pleats. And the Yappy Christmas one is quite nice, as I said, because it's just straight, straight pockets. The one that's the um, London... This l the London scene, London shopping, they're all individual pockets that you sew on separately. So on here, these are all your pockets and you can see they're all solid lines because they're all individual pockets that go around the edge. So I would, again, would cut your whole strip, do the top hem and then cut them up into individual pockets. Yeah. And they're quite easy then to just press those edges under and just sew around the edge. And I use the edge of the um, picture as the guide for pressing it under, and then it sits exactly on top of here. Perfect. The printing process that Macawa uses is so good that everything matches up beautifully. It really is like They've precise. been doing these for years though, haven't yeah. they? And, and if you they really are. The, I think everybody knows a Macawa advent calendar. They're, they're a really good quality printing, and they really, yeah. you know, They've really thought about it. We me. had um, we had angel kits last year. <coughs> We've the got a couple of those left, and the so the angel kits that we had last year that that what stock we have left, um, and they don't date, do they? It's like like no no, no sorry you <coughs> don't have angels this Christmas. That was so last Christmas. Um, they are the on a special offer, so they're on the deals page. So do check out. That's the last of our stock. We haven't got any more of those after that. Oh, Ali, bless you. Should have couldn't resist the dog advent calendar times to going to make them up to auction for our local dog rescue. You well, are yes, a good Well, yes, that's a lovely egg. thing to do. That's really nice. So I'm just going to. What I'm, I'm just skipping ahead a bit here. Just wanted to play with the flutter. Um, 
I'll sew that last row of pockets on to show you how to do the um, to show you how to do the pocket sewing on and the little box pleat. And then we'll go on to doing the backing with the pocket in to do the lights. Okay. Um, so I just skipped ahead a bit there, got a bit carried away. Oh, that's all right. Um, which flatter are you using today, Jane? Oh, I think it's our favourite pineapple grove one. Oh, we I love that, it's so the fresh. Pineapple one. Right, so I've hemmed the top. And as I said, I just folded it over and folded it over again and hemmed it all the way across. And I, I think, you don't have to, but I think it makes life easier if you do that with all your pockets. Even if you've got individual ones, it just saves you some time. So your um, box pleat, you take the fold and then you fold it through to the dotted line. So you're not folding it over all in one go. You just fold it and it's only a little a little crease but I press mine and then I pop a pin in it just to hold it so I hold it closed so I'm holding I'm just pinning that pleat closed and then I'll do the other side so it comes in to the middle and as I say I use the line that's around the picture as my guide my fold line guide for pressing it And I've just said I've done that, but actually I do <laughs> get myself in a rubble here. I do this bottom line first. So I will fold the sides in because that's just a, a literally a folding, and that's how you do your single pockets. It's just a case of folding the um, cream edge under. And then I will fold I will press the bottom edge under all the way along Let's start from this side <clears throat> so it's just a taking your time really just to make sure that you you keep it nice and straight and you keep it just underneath that line on your picture This is the, the whole prior and proper preparation thing, yes. isn't it? And it just gives you a nice finish and it, and it, and it makes it look lovely. So that's all those edges tucked under. And if you were just doing individual pockets, you would just fold underneath that edge so that the pocket then is ready just to sew down on the three sides. Yeah. So as I say, we take the fold and we fold it towards that dotted line and then we press it. And we do the same with the other one, but each time I'll just pop a pin in it just to hold it down for ready for when I get to sew it onto the pockets because otherwise it has a habit of untucking itself, which is a bit annoying. Do you know what? I friggin' love this group. Do you know what's happening while you're busy doing this? No. What are Lowe's doing? just said to Ali, let us pay for one of the thing is should we haven't done our random act of kindness this week I go, guys you're gonna make me cry this is just so beautiful that is lovely amy says oh please tell me there's a cat one not that i've seen did no, you I haven't they didn't seen. have a cat one no. did they else we would have got it they missed a trick there really oh can we do a closer shot of the pleating please yes 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 we can yeah, do I'll that i'll go i'll go up to the to the close-up once i've got the pressing done because obviously i can't take the iron up there and hold it into the air now there's a bit of haggling going on. Ali said that's very generous of you, Lo. Could you, you could buy the light kit if you like. <laughs> <Go in one. laughs> oh, it's all going on. <laughs> that's lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> Elizabeth says, what a genius idea. Do the top and bottom fold before you cut them all out. <laughs> that's why I was a hairdresser and you were an amazing stitchy witch. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's all going on. Yes. <laughs> you just maybe don't want your hair cut by Jane. I don't know. I, I, no, I don't know well, if I'm it's doing not it recommended. There. No, not recommended at all. Could I you do that pressing just slightly more in shot? Just yeah. a little bit more on come the edge? Yeah, come across a bit. Sorry. No, Thank it's you. fine. Come across a bit. 
So no, I'm there's no taking... naked man one. Sorry. We'll mm. we'll see if Macau will. We'll make a recommendation. We'll take. Um, yeah, we could we could offer a suggestion. I don't yeah. know how well it would be received. <laughs> yeah, she said preferably one that fits a bottle in each one. Um, that's I had her friend. A friend made one and it um, put miniature gins in it for Perfect. her husband. Perfect. Right. Um, Lo, you sweetheart, if you put a note on the order, then we'll make sure that gets put in with Ali's order and sent to her. It's all happening. What a lovely, happening. lovely, lovely dress. Do you know what? This is this is why I love what we do and who yes. we do it for and who we do it with. Because you lot just rock. You are fantastic. Absolutely. There you go. Heather got the calendar for her three chihuahuas. I mean, yeah. You they could probably it. fit you a chihuahua in one of the pockets, <laughs> couldn't you? They're only little. You could put little, three little treats in each one. Well, that's what she said. She right. said, hopefully I can get three little bones in each in each day. I reckon you could. I'm going to go close up on this then okay. and show this final fold for the, the pocket for uh, the lady that asked. So you've got on your um, piece of fabric, you've got that dashed line there. So you take the edge of the pocket, the edge of the picture, and you fold it in so the edge of the picture sits on that dotted line. And then you'll press that. And as I say, I recommend just popping a pin in it along it when you've pressed it. Mm. And then you take the other edge and you fold that in and that sits up against the fold along the dotted line of the other pocket. And it's not difficult. It just takes a little bit of, sometimes a little bit of, fab of manipulation and you do have to remember to keep your fingers out of the way. Because mm. you can catch them with the edge of the iron. <laughs> I mean, but the little yeah. prim iron is perfect for this sort of pressing. Yeah, you know, I I use my little prim for this because you can get right in on the on the edge. So once you've done that, it's just a case of lining it up on top of your um, area where the pocket goes. And on on each advent calendar, it's slightly different on each one. Um, but it's easy to do. And it's just a case of just popping a few pins in just to hold it in place while you then take it to your sewing machine. And um, the, the dashed line will line up with the solid line between the pockets there. So that dashed line there is just lined up with the solid line underneath, just so that you know that you've got your pocket in the right place. I'm just going to put one in just here just to stop it dangling around while I take it to the machine. <coughs> so then you take it to your machine and you want to sew as close to the edge of the pocket as you feel comfortable, really, at least eighth of an inch. Don't go right in a quarter of an inch, really, because you'll lose all the space within the pocket. But you need to catch that fold where you've pressed the fold in. Now, when I start sewing, I start sewing on the background fabric just on the on the very edge of the pocket. So it's I'm actually sewing on the background part of the advent calendar first just so that it go the stitching goes over the edge. Um, just because I in my head I feel like it needs to have that extra bit of stitching on the top just to hold it and strengthen it. So I'll do about 3 stitches and then I'll reverse just again just going over the top and then come back again and then <coughs> so down to the corner just gone a little bit far there so let's lift that back up a bit and pivot it round and then I will take I'm going to sew right down now and I want to make sure that I've still got that tuck in my that little pleat in my pocket and that my dashed line is still sitting on the top of the of the solid line underneath and I'm going to sew 
along there, I'm going to use my pin now to show you where I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop my needle just on the other side of that fold so it stops on that dash line that I've sewn across the fold. Perfect. Oh, quick question everyone. Do you want, um, I know because some of you will have already made advent calendars and stuff or, or have already bought the backing fabric for it. Do any of you want just the lights on their own? In which case we can load. I suddenly thought, oh gosh, I try and give you every option for buying everything that you might want yeah. to save you money. Um, so I'm just taking the pins out of the pockets now of that side. I'm just making sure that that dashed line is lined up with the air. I don't know if we can see this on the close up. My fingers are in the way. Um, the line of the pocket underneath. I'm making sure that dash, dash line is sitting on the top. And then I'm just going to peel the folds back. And I'm going to sew on that dash line. So I'm using that dash line now as my sewing guide. Just holding those um, creases back out of the way. And I'm going to go up to the top and I'm just going to take the stitch just over the top of the pocket, just over, so it's actually sit stops, my needle stops in the fab background fabric. Lift that, turn it round and I'm going to sew back down that line that I've just sewn. Oh, Bridget said that she used wash away quilters tape along the bottom edge to keep every, all the folds and everything in place. Good idea. And yes, she'd love the lights on her own. If anybody else wants the, uh, the lights on their own, just drop me in a quick yes or a quick thumbs up or something so that I know and I can pass that across to Gemma and she can get them loaded. And so then I've just pushed that fold back now. I've got my needle is still sat in that on that dash line. So I'm pushing my fold of the second pocket up against my needle and then I'm going to go again. So in effect, I have, I'm sort of sewing across the folds, but when I get to the dash line, I stop, pivot, and then I'm just going to make sure that that dash line is then lined up with my pop picture on the back. Take the pins out of the folds, open the folds out, and then sew up that straight, that dashed line. <coughs> Just go over onto the backing fabric, turn it around, and then come back down that dashed line again. Stop. Push that crease back up again to the needle just making sure that I'm still lined up with my pocket edge and then go across the bottom of the pocket Stop just over that crease of the first side, take the pins out, open out the creases, line it up with the picture underneath at the back. Go up. Um, 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 Lo, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what you've ordered, but if you haven't ordered the right thing, um, we will correct it and we will make sure that Ali gets um, two sets of everything from us. So if there's anything to be made up, we will we will absolutely make sure that Ali gets the full kit. So um, thank you, and um, and we'll make up we'll make it up anything else that needs to go in. So Ali, you'll have two full kits there coming your way. Oh, how lovely! Oh, Carrie says she's going to have to watch this and repeat. Hope keeps rolling over and getting stuck. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> On the plus side, I'm burning calories. Do you know what, Kerry? After lockdown, I keep rolling over and getting stuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'll lower view. <laughs> Lowe's ordered the digital instructions twice. <laughs> we'll sort it out, Lowe. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We can. <laughs> yeah, Ali, it might be too much sea sun um, and sea fun, maybe. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Lowe's been paddleboarding. I want to give paddleboarding a go. I know, I've seen her pictures. I thought, oh, that looks such good fun. I don't know if it's like more sedate surfing because I'm, I'm, I'm not a sur I'm not a natural surfer. I think it's go you're going to need a good core though, aren't you? Because you've still got to balance on that umbro at the same time. I keep my, my back. Mind you, Lowe looked like me. she was sitting down when she was on hers. Lowe, are you sitting down or standing up? So because, um, yeah, no, my core is shot after. She was maybe kayaking, I don't know. Yeah. She got beautiful toenails. I remember thinking that. Like, nice toes. <laughs> Gemma would be impressed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Emily has just discovered that Gemma always has sparkly toenails. Oh yeah, it's fascinating. And she's super, super, super excited about that. She loves a bit of sparkle, does our Emily? I can't imagine where that came from. Yesterday, um, after the show, we we just zipped to go and get Freddie yet another pair of trainers because his feet have grown yet again. Amazing. And of course, Emily fi fi spied a rainbow uh, toile, um, not toile, tulle, that's the one, um, rainbow tulle dress. Yep. Yep, gotta have yep, yep. it. Um, and she told me that she has to wear skirts now because um, that's how she will look beautiful. And I nearly cried. I thought, you don't need that. To you don't need a skirt beautiful. to look beautiful. No. How can she they... probably, uh, only, you know, not quite free, look beautiful and feel beautiful are probably the same for same. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she got an amazing skirt on this morning with all sparkly bits on it. I said yeah. to her, can I have that when you've grown out of it? And she just looked at me and said, what? <laughs> what, what? I'm not sharing. <laughs> like, sh they're sharing and caring and that ain't happening at all. Um, Paula says, yes, morning. Uh, yes to the lights on their own. Is there any news on the block box, please? The block box? Block How do you mean box. any news on the block box? Is it the... The applique box, the block, block one box. Um, um, Paula, give us a clue, because I think I'm being really thick on the block box. Block box. Oh, did you do the shapes that went into the blocks? The like the jigsaw thing that you could decide which. Were you waiting for that to come back in when you made the shapes with the blocks for the blocks? They have been so horribly delayed. Yes. If it's that, oh, if it's that uh, one. It oh that? gosh, yeah. So when the when they, I need to explain about this because so many of you bought them and I, I keep meaning. To, well, I've apologised several times about it. When they sent us the sample, they made it sound like they had them all in stock. Yes. Whereas actually they had them on it, well, what they thought was on a ship coming in from the States. And of course then it just kept being delayed and being delayed and being delayed. They are still on back order with search press. And as soon as they land, yours are the first to be sent out. Um, but I, I didn't realize, and you know, that's on me. I didn't realize when I sold them that, that search, because search press are one of the only people that drop ship for right. us. So they are, you know, they tell me what they have in stock and then I, I, you know, we can add that to our inventory. And I didn't realise that they hadn't actually got them in and of course then everything got delayed. So they are not forgotten and they will be fulfilled as soon as they land. Yeah. And I can only apologise for anyone who's still waiting for those. And of course, if you'd rather have a refund, then please do. But as soon as they are in, they will be sent to you. If that's what you mean, Paula, it might not be. But I'll just apologise anyway, just in case. So if we um, can go, go close up on there. Um, so when I finished, I just came along the bottom up there and sewed up and then did a couple of reverse stitches. And again, just did that one stitch over the edge and into the backing. Just to, I just feel it holds it down a little bit better. So you can see then that makes that little pocket sort of stand out with that little pleat in it, the little box pleat. So they're quite um, lovely. So that's the pocket sewn on. I reckon you'd fit three gravy bones in there. Easily. Easy. Easily. You might want to just give it a press to um, make sure it sits because you've been manipulating it and um, just to make it sit flatter. 
There we go. Do you know right. what we should have done? We still can do this. Mm. I think that we should bundle some of the flatter with the pressing mat. Yeah. Because if you've got the pressing mat, then you're going to get it. You yes. see, when, when things tell me that I need a scant seam allowance now. You're I, not going to worry about I that. I don't do just... one. I don't yeah. do one because I know that with my sprays and with my pressing mat, when I press that seam back, that, that normally means I don't need a scant seam yeah. allowance that's what I, that's been what i've discovered yes um i'm generally okay so yeah maybe we should do that so i have cut the piece of backing fabric um i say i have i'm just going to double check that to the same size as my panel i think i might have made it a bit wider actually have you been yeah, generous I have. I have but i do that this is the only time that i make my backing and my wadding the same size I'm just going to trim that down. Just, just measure your advent calendar. So my advent calendar on this one is 21 and a half wide by 28 and a half. So just measure your advent calendar. Once you've cut it out and put your pockets on, because putting the pockets on sometimes can just um, pull it in a little bit. Pull it, it in just slightly. So you might just want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to cut this to 21 and a half. Um, Helen, um, her husband, uh, they're having an argument over the, the bent scissors that she got when she, <laughs> for free. I think Helen bought them. Well, I think she put them in a basket and, and didn't really think much of it because she's left-handed, so she didn't think that she'd be able to use them. Right. But, of course, now they've arrived and she's like, actually, I can work them perfectly as a lefty. And Steve's seen the engineering. She's like, he's really impressed with the quality of them. Yeah. I'm like, just tell him there's a whole load more that he can, you know, he can yeah, indulge in. Buy his own. <laughs> and then you can get the full set. I don't know, actually. I, need to, I don't know if that's just a one-time only, um, if you can only use that code once. I'll have to ask SJ. Otherwise, you know, just tell Steve you've got to buy some more fabric and he can have his own. <laughs> just yeah, a thought. Just a thought. Now, Claire says, I can stand on skis and skates, but I'm rubbish on single boards. Um, I like to have control over both feet. You see, I, I love it's a bit a of It's a balance thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm rubbish on ski. Well, I'm okay on water skis. But I can't see uh, ski. I'd love to board. have a go at water skiing. I've never done it, but I think I'd like it. Oh, I love water skiing and wakeboarding. Yeah. Just, just the things for me. And from the leftover, because you'll get a, from the backing fabric, you'll get a full width of sixty centimeters, so it's nearly twenty-four inches um, wide. So you'll trim it down to the width of your advent calendar and the length. And from the off-cut piece, cut yourself a five and a half by ten and a half inch. Um, rectangle of fabric. Fold the fabric right sides together. I mean with um, plain fabric it's, there's not really a right side and a wrong side. And now I'm going to hem quarter of an inch. I'm going to go down that side along there and up and I'm going to stop about an inch and a half from the top. And um, just around the edge. We've done a little crib sheet for this process um, just because we haven't done the instructions for actually putting the advent calendar together because the instructions are on the on the actual advent calendar so it seems a bit pointless but for the putting the pocket in and all the rest of it we've done a, a worksheet Well, and the thing is, is that you can then apply the same principle to to any wall hanging or anything that you yeah, decide to do Yeah, you want to put Christmas. lights in anything, you can do it then. Um, the uh, Yeah, SJ's just replied. She says, nope, you can use the bent trimmer scissor discount code as many times as you like. So I think this is the, well, I mean, the, the answer is, Helen, that you clearly need some more fabric and then Steve yeah. can have his own scissors. Job done. So I'm just going to snip the corners off. Just to reduce the bulk, really. Not, you know, just close to the stitching, but not too close. And then you pull it through. 
the gap that you've left. You don't have to make your pocket like this. You could make it singly like you've been making your advent pockets if you want to, but I just think this gives a nice finish. But there's no reason that you couldn't make your advent pockets like this either. No, this is it. You could you know, put the fronts of your advents on some backing and sew around three sides and pull them through so that you've got the same effect if you want really neat with no raw edges showing. So is it's up to you as to how, how swanky pants you want to make it? I think the thing with these advent calendars is they're the sort of advent calendars that you're going to put away each year and reuse. Oh, for sure. Because they're just... Well, I say this every Everlasting, year. aren't they, really? My mum bought me an advent calendar that has... It's a house, and um, each bit of the window is a little box that you can put a little treat or snack or something in. Yeah. I have had that advent calendar since I was seven years old. Oh. And every single year, apart from last year because of COVID... Um, in fact, then she just she sent me the snacks to put in and do it myself. Um, <laughs> you know she, you know she's she's done me that advent calendar. That's she tried lovely. to not do it one year and there was outrage. Yes, like I, can I can thought you were old enough to not have an advent calendar. I was like, what? you'll never do old to have an advent calendar. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> so I pushed I pushed the corners through. I folded the the gap, the edges of the gap under, and I'm pressing that. Um, I'm going to now just top stitch the folded edge of that pocket. I'm just going to top stitch over the, over it just because I would do this normally in the same colour thread as the pocket. But it's just, an, I don't know, it just adds a little bit to it. It's just about an eighth of an inch away from the top. I mean, nobody's going to see it, so I don't know why I do it, but I do. Um, it doesn't I, matter if you don't sew so it, is what I'm trying to say, I think. I love the fact that Cass has a skateboard. That, yeah. is, that is something that has made me smile. Um, so I'm going to place this pocket now. I'm going to fold this in half so that I've got a... This, this would be the right side of your fabric. If it had a right side, wrong side. You want this with the right side facing upwards. Right. Um, about well uh, uh, six inches six and a you know five and a half from the bottom round about there and sitting in the middle so that's the middle line of the the piece of fabric so about there so not too far down i might bring that down a little bit so just around there nicely in the middle at the bottom of the of the um, backing fabric Claire's wondering whether or not a bit of elastic would help keep the pockets closed. Um, no, I don't think there's a problem with them with keeping them closed. They they sit. It's just press it once you've you've done it. Just press them and the, and they stay. Because there's not a lot of room in there. There's no. It's not like they're going to bag forward when you put when you hang it. And so I'm now going to sew along the three sides of that edge of that pocket again. About just a scant quarter of an inch, between a quarter and eighth of an inch. Oh, Helen, we had this conversation. She said, what's happening with the Natasha Makes advent calendar this year? We will do it. We will absolutely be doing it. Um, absolutely for sure. We were talking yesterday, weren't we, about things that we could put in there? Oh, we've got some lovely ideas this year. And also because we've got a little bit more time to plan. Which is really nice. Yeah. I love wrapping up all of those. I love wrapping up presents. That's one of my it's one of my favourite jobs. Yeah, I hide myself away with a glass of wine somewhere quiet. Yeah, and I put a, a Christmas music C D on and yeah. I'm just I'm just Chocolate. pleased that it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> just to have a moment of oh. peace, yeah. And I'm just going to pull that thread through from, from the front to the back that's, that started it through. You can tie it off if you've got a long enough piece of thread. 
but it just makes it tidy. I of course would use, normally I would use thread that match the backing fabric. Again, it's on the back, so nobody's gonna see it, but that's the pocket then that your battery pack will sit inside um, for your Bridget, lights. Now Bridget says that she's already made the house in Yappy Advent calendars. Is there a way of adding the lights now? You can make the pocket and you can hand stitch it on. Right, okay. So, Perfect. you know, if you've already done your, your advent calendar and now you're thinking you want to add lights, just make the pocket like I have and then just over stitch it at the back. As I say, it's on the back. Nobody else is going to see it unless you show them. So, um, yeah. So you want your piece of wadding to be the same size as your backing. Obviously mine isn't because I cut it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, when I was taking it to be to make the sample I just cut a piece of wadding and then I cut off what I needed and then this is a leftover bit so um but I can just trim that you see with the with the scissors it's easy to trim it to make it the same size you might want to um use a bit of spray adhesive just to hold it down you might want to pin it um the other one that you might um no this is we're doing a bagging out technique aren't yeah. we but if you wanted to, um, you could do it with a bind. bind. Yeah, you could do so it if you wanted to bind, what we have got is HH. Oh, is it six fifty? I think it is. But you're looking for the Vlieselina HH, the one that has HH. H six forty is a one sided adhesive. H six thirty is a lighter weight adhesive. But where it's got the two H's, that is double sided adhesive which is really great. So any time that you want to quilt and you don't want stuff moving around, you can layer everything up and just press it all in, in a one -er. Um And that's, that's quite good. And that would work with this, but only if you were going to bind it afterwards. It's no good for a bagging out technique. No. So that's my wadding and backing the same size. Now, the ribbons, I haven't got the ribbon with me. We're waiting for the delivery. Um, it's arriving today. So we're expecting it any moment. So you've got to pretend that this is ribbon. Right, this is the ribbon. You need to cut yourself a five inch length of ribbon. And you'll need, for my, the one I've done, you'll need five pieces at the same, the same length. So you could make your own binding or whatever for this, but you if you're getting strip, the accessories yeah, kit, you'll you got, have some ribbon in there. You might have some Christmassy ribbon, you might do anything. Um, but you will get a piece of ribbon in your finishing in your finishing kit, so the option's there. Or you could use it to tie on your tree if you don't want to do this method. Because I've my Christmas tree one, I just bagged it through and I didn't put any hangings on it and I just um, pin it now to the wall with safety pins, not safety pins, drawing pins. So you'll fold your ribbon in half, you line your, um, your advent calendar up, find the middle, again just fold it in half to find the middle. Put a crease in it. Fold your ribbon over and then put the two cut edges in the middle in between that crease that you've made. So the crease is there, so that ribbon's lying on the crease there. And just place a pin in. Now place your pin quite low down. Don't put it right up against the edge because you're going to sew over it and you won't be able to see it. So if you place it low down where it's not going to be in the way of being sewn over, you've got no chance of damaging your needle. Place the next one. Now, when you sew this up, you're going to sew around the edge and I'm going to sew mine quite close to the edge of the white. So I'm just bringing that in. That's going to be my seam line on the white there. I don't know if we can see where I am. That's going to be my seam line. So I've brought it just inside the edge of that white there, just so that it's not going to get tucked into my seam. I won't catch it in the seam. And I'll do that with the on the same on the other side. Okay. 
lining up the, the cut edges of the ribbon with the cut edge of the advent calendar. Perfect. And then we'll put the other two in between. Now, if you want to, you can measure that and find out exactly where the middle is, or you can do it by eye. Oh, Jane, you'll be pleased to know I've managed to get my splinter out. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's been bugging me all oh, morning. It's horrible because you said it kept catching as well, didn't it? Which Every time hurts. I touched the fabric, it was right in the fold of my hand as well. Every time I touched the fabric, it was only it was only a little what, bit out of the thistle and the horse's hay. Yeah. And I had a couple of two of them in my hand, and uh, but every time it was just so so fine. Every time I kept touching the fabric, it just kept wobbling off. Sorry, nobody else is probably even remotely interested, but uh, Jane was very sympathetic <laughs> this morning, <laughs> and it's just come out, and I'm just having that small it's celebratory like, hooray. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because there's nothing worse. It's so annoying. Oh. And then if it gets a little bit infected as well, oh. and then every time you put gel on your hands, it hurts. Yeah, exactly. All but hopefully that. now it won't. Um, well, this is looking... I can concentrate now again, I'm sure. <laughs> so we've got the, the wadding with the backing right side facing up. And we're now going to put the advent calendar right side facing down. Making sure that the pocket is towards the bottom of the advent calendar. Oh, yeah. And your top is at the top. And I do it this way so that I can see now, I can see the line that I'm going to have to sew round. So just make sure that everything is lined up and I will pin it now to the backing. I don't worry if it's a little bit bigger, in fact it's quite nice if it's a little bit bigger because you've got room for trimming there. Right, I'm going to put the link for the lights on their own here. Cool. So I'm pinning it through all three layers now, just to hold the three layers together. And we don't need to on this machine, do we? We can do it without adding a walking foot. Oh, this you don't need a walking foot with this machine, no. You'll need your walking foot on at the, for this point, this, this next step, um, because obviously you're sewing through three layers and if you try and do it with your ordinary foot they're going to move and they won't by the time you get to the third edge everything will have shifted which is quite frustrating so i've got my three layers pinned together now and i'm going to um just sew that around the edge and I'm going to leave um, about a five, four, five inch gap at the bottom, wide enough to get your hand in basically. I've got quite big hands so a five inch <laughs> gap is quite, <laughs> quite good for me. But James you might not need man hands. Like man hands. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you know how big a gap you need to get your hand through. So. I keep having weird hand shows. So there's you saying that you've got big hands. And then I did a show with Yanis at uh, Craft Store the other day, and he's like, look at the big Greek hairy hand. <laughs> it's just like, really? You say what? <laughs> well, he, yeah, he's, he's part Greek. And, oh, right. uh, and so his hand was just in shot. And he's like, yeah, no, my hand's really hairy. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on with all the hand talk? So when you sew your gap, um, start by just doing a, a few reverse stitches because you're going to have to put your hand in and pull it through it just strengthens that edge and as I said I'm just sewing on the edge here of the white on mine all the advent calendars are slightly different and you'll see the best line to sew around you see for me Jane I I obviously underestimate the size of my hands mm. and so I never leave a big a big, big enough, enough turning gap. through gap yeah. um, and if you are like me and you have hand dysmorphia I'm going to give it that name yeah. you know what I mean <laughs> Good hand dysmorphia and you think your hands are actually smaller than they are um, or you, then I don't back tack on because I've ripped it so many times yeah um, if you are like Jane and you you've left a sensible gap perfect back tack if you're like me and you underestimate the size of your hands you can always, when you're, when you're about to start, you could put your hand 
like that and put a pin there and a pin there and then you'd know where to start and where to finish. Yes, that would be the sensible thing. That's I sensible just thing. underestimate and then <laughs> I've, I've just ripped it too many times because I've, um, I've reinforced it. Yes. Because I don't want it to cut. And actually, it's been safer for me to just not do that. Yeah. But you know, you, you know, if you're honest with yourself, you know, you know what you do. I think it's also um, harks back to the days where I used to bother to hand sew everything shut afterwards. Yes. So I used to go for the smallest possible gap. <laughs> We've all been there, mean. right? And now I just stitch over the top, so it really doesn't matter anyway. Our Jan said that she enjoyed last year's advent calendar. It gave us something to look forward to in lockdown. Yeah. I think we underestimate that. And Naomi said that if you loved wrapping the, the advent gift boxes, I bet I enjoyed unwrapping them more. Ah, oh, oh. okay, right. We will do them again then, for sure. I think there was a uniqueness, wasn't there, to our advent calendars that, you know, showed the, the love, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my question then to you guys is, I know it's July and we're talking advent calendars, and I also know that it can get a bit costly as we head into autumn and winter when you start, you know, buying your Christmas gifts. So would you, would you rather that we made them up sooner rather than later? And then you know you've got them. Yeah, or will you put them away and forget you've got them? Oh, I don't, well, I think we'll be reminding <laughs> them constantly, Jane. We'll be reminding Jane. you constantly. Yeah. But just, again, just pop a little comment so that we know. Um, and I know that's difficult for you guys on YouTube, but um, if you're on Facebook, you, you can speak for everyone. Um, you can be the mouthpiece of the viewers. I don't know about anybody else, but I start... I'm always looking at things for, as within mind for Christmas I don't think I mean I know I do a lot more of it towards Christmas but um, if I see something and I think oh that's so and so would like that I quite often get it yeah so my, got, my, my mum's like the a little same. box with presents in I think oh they're ready for Christmas type things yeah the kids have found my my present box yeah which is dangerous um, my mum does this with cards, with birthday cards, and she ends up, and then she puts them somewhere safe, and then yeah, she can't and then remember where she put them. them again, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly that. And then when when she moves house, because um, she's like us, she seems to move house quite a lot. Um, she then finds masses of stashes of birthday cards and doesn't need to buy one for a lot. No, that's right. I found it all again. Oh, Diane wants to add the lights to the angel advent from last year. That'll look beautiful. Oh, if you yes, grab the instructions, would, then you just have to follow the instructions and hand stitch on the pocket at the back, Diane. So we just pull that through now. <clears throat> oh, what I do is I, t I snip the corners. Jump in ahead again. Snip the corners just to take the bulk out. And what I will also do is I will snip away the excess wadding on the seam allowance again just to reduce the bulk so I take I just pull the wadding up and I will just snip it taking care obviously not to to cut into the fabric and not to cut into my stitches but it just takes that bit of bulk out of the seam and makes it lie a little bit flatter it's just, you know, when you're doing this for yourself or to give us a gift, it just gives it a nicer finish. And of course, you've got more time to spend doing this. You're not under, you know, any time constraint. You could make this advent calendar from beginning to end, you know, in a morning probably, if you just sat there and made it. It's not, it's not a, a difficult make and it doesn't take very long to do. Or you can take your time and make it, you know, over a couple of days. It's entirely up to you. But it's a nice quick make. They're nice quick makes, I think. And like, um, who was the lady that's giving it to the dogs? Trust this. Ali. Ali. Lovely like Ali. Ali. I mean, they're the sort of things that you don't mind making them and giving them away to a charity for them to raise funds with because it hasn't taken you hours and hours. And if yeah. they decide they only want to charge five pounds for it, don't look. You don't. You don't feel too cheated. Do you I know think what I mean? hopefully like they'll, they'll. They wouldn't. I'm sure they wouldn't. But you never know. Sometimes with charities, they like. They just want to raise the money, don't they? And and I think once you've given something to charity, you have to accept that. 
that's what they'll do. Um, lots of people saying early, 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 please. Yes, 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 we can sort that. Jess says, would you ever do a Natasha Makes um, at Making Advent Calendar? So each day leads to making something too. We do that as our 12 days of Christmas, Jess, so that um, you have four different projects to make uh, and each on, so you get you get the things over over that. So yes, we do. We did that last year, and it was really, really um, popular. Um, we haven't we haven't thought of doing that as a lead up to Christmas thing. I think I thought everyone was too busy, and it was just to cover the lull between Christmas and New Year, where no one ever knows what day of the week it is, and you're not quite at work, and you're not quite doing anything else, and you're a bit bored, um, and I just think, trying yeah, to. Yeah, particularly last year when we weren't seeing anybody. Yeah, and just trying to keep off the Baileys at ten o'clock in the morning. You know that that kind of thing. I mean, that's not wrong, is it? But in that not that Christmas, love bef no, before Christmas and New Year, Bailey's on your cornflakes. Bailey's flakes on is your cornflakes, perfect, perfectly acceptable. acceptable. Better on cocoa pops though, because then you get like mm, chocolate, yeah, chocolate Bailey's. Yeah. Just just saying. I'm just thinking now. I just like a nice Bailey's over ice. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really nice. <laughs> Bailey's over ice cream. That's not a oh, bad shout. Yes. Yeah. So then, once I've trimmed all of that, trimmed the corners off. We then um, pull it through. So just put your hand in, grab the corner and pull that through. Be careful because obviously you've put the pins in where the ribbon is. So oh yeah, when you're grabbing, just be mindful of that. And there's a one point where you think, oh my God, I'm in a right rubble here. I'm never going to get all of this through. But if you just keep gently pulling it, it will come through and it will be fine. But there's that one point where you think, oh, no. <laughs> um, Lo has some um, life tips for us. Life yeah. hacks, I'd like to call yeah. them. She says, if you pour a bottle of Baileys into ice and put it in a straw um, cup, people think that you're drinking iced coffee. Ah. You see? This yeah. is the way to do it, isn't it? She knows all the, all the hacks, All the she? tricks. Yeah. All the tricks. So just take your scissors and just push the corners out gently because you don't want to push through your scissors. But as you're pushing it, just give it a little bit of a roll and that'll push the corner through. Um, do that on all the corners. You know what would happen in my household though, don't you? Emily would think Emily it was a milkshake would pick it up, yeah. and she'd pick it up. I yeah. turned my back the other day, she drank an entire glass of Prosecco while I wasn't looking. Ah! I was like, what is going on? And then yesterday we had dinner out and <laughs> they were ordering drinks. And she like, I'd like a glass of wine, mummy. <laughs> Uh, no, you're two. <laughs> Let's just reiterate, you are two. A nice glass of you wine, mummy. You quickly sort of justify to the waiter that she doesn't normally have wine at home. <laughs> I don't know where she's got that from. You know it'll be there. I mean, Freddie will have a sip of wine with a with a Sunday oh, dinner. So they that do, it's, don't they? It's normalised. Yeah. And it's We've not got on the French approach yeah. with it. Um, and so, of course, he makes it sound like we're constantly feeding them wine. It's like, yeah. no. No, 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 no. Oh, Julia would like um, Lo to write a book on her life tips. Yeah. It could just be Lo's, Lo's life hacks. Yeah, definitely. That's the best seller if I've ever yeah. heard one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Elizabeth, Emily's been drinking my wine for many, for many years. Many well, years. She, she was, to. Yeah, <laughs> since she could grab a cup um, yeah. under her own steam, she has been, she's been stealing... Um, yeah. any any wine glass that she can um you just you wouldn't really notice a difference actually that's the worrying thing <laughs> i just take the edge then and i just like roll it between my fingers just to push the the seams out just roll it you'll see it it, it pulls the seam away from the backing and just flattens it slightly mm. you just take your time to do that and then once you've done it you can then um just press it. Right, so I can't roll hems. I think that we've um, I think we've all discovered that I can't roll seams. Yeah. But that's why we've got the little pokey pokey um, yeah, blue I mean, things in there, Fab. Run the edge around and, and do that with those. That's easy to do. Um, and then once you've done done that, that's your that's your advent calendar made and, and that's a good you know, that's a, a straightforward way of doing it. You can add your quilting to it at this point, whichever Sort of whatever you'd like to quilt. I'm going to quilt around the dogs and the parcels and maybe around the trees. Um, and then decide where you'd like your lights. Take into consideration the gap between your lights. 
you'll have a, you know, when you get your string of lights, there's a gap between them. So on, on these wired ones, you're going to have to fold them slightly. Be careful as you fold them because you don't want to break them. So you're going to end up, and if I can go close up on this, yeah, yeah, Natasha, sort of make a little loop, and it'll be, it'll look like a little bit of a loop. Have you twisted it? Because I twi when I did it, I twisted it. I just haven't once. twisted it. I just pinched it, but you could just give it a twist. But you will have a loop. If you try and, and pinch it right up against the light, you'll break it, and then you'll break the connection, and you won't be able to see that, and it, and it, and then they won't work. So it's just you know, just take your time with them. But remember that you've got that gap between them. There's only that gap. So when you're thinking about placing your lights onto your advent calendar, mm. you can go onto the. I would have to think, I mean, I couldn't go from there to that one. There's not enough gap. But what I could do is I could have one out of the way and put the next one in. And maybe, or maybe I can think I can go down the tree and then across and then up that tree, put one in the dog's, on the dog's nose, things like that. You just have to think about the spacing that you've got and the number of lights you've got, because you've got 20 on the string. So you need to think about where they would go. So once you've done that and you've marked it with your favorite fabric marker, where you want your lights to go, I'm going to take the big one, the, the main one down now, and I'm going to show you on this. You see, I put a cane through the loops then, and then you can tie a string to the end of the cane and hang them that way. <laughs> we, had, we had to go and find one, didn't we? Yeah, the Freddie helped me. I said to Freddie, can you find me a stick to, um, from the garden? I need it about that long. And he said, a stick? I said, yes, do you know what a stick is? He went, yes. I said, off a, off a tree or a, a, a branch or something. I said, not too thick, but not too thin. And he just went, OK. No. <laughs> <laughs> just proving once more that the grown-ups in this household have lost their minds. Bonkers. They're completely yep. mad. Yep, yep. So, on this calendar here, I think we could have... Um, you have to think about where your pockets are as well, because obviously you can't... I couldn't put a light on the reindeer's nose there because if I wanted a light there, that would be in the pocket. Yeah. Very tempted on this house one to want to have one where the candle is and one where the light is, but of course you can't because they're in a pocket. So yeah, I mean, the, the other th you, these are two metres long, mm. um, these lengths. So there is plenty of length. Two, yes. So two metres long, so it's going to be one every 10, ten centimetres. Yeah. So, so you'll plan have your a, journey. Yeah. Just take a little time. So I'm thinking I can actually have one on that star on the Christmas tree light there. I'm thinking that would look quite nice to have one there. Now you will need to put your free motion embroidery, your darning foot, whatever it's called on your machine, the one that you would do your free motion with or um, um, embroidery on your machine. I've chosen the open toe one. Um, Natasha's got several in here. Some of them look like um, just a straight circle, but I've chosen the one with the open toe just because I you can see a bit better if you've got an open toe one. But if you use the, the solid circle one, that's fine too. Now, I should have practiced this. <laughs> famous she last says, words. Famous last words. So... You are going to need to, like you would do if you were doing your um, free motion quilting, you're going to need to bring the back thread up to the top. So drop your, drop your foot down, drop your needle into your fabric, lift the needle out, just give it a tug and it will bring the bobbin thread up to the top. And so you've got both threads then out of the way. Drop your needle back down and then you're going to, and you may, if you've never done this before, you may want to practice on a scrap of fabric and wadding to just practice circles. Um, it's just a small circle, and it's a case of just going round in that circle, maybe three, maybe four times. And again, it's just to add a line of stitching to prevent your fabric fraying.
I don't know if we'll be able to see it close up on this because it's it's cream thread on cream background um, but you can see there I've just gone in a circle around that star there because I think it might be quite nice to have a light up there Jane yes some sewing machines have got a, an eyelet yeah stitch Could give it a try that? because it's it's a it's a complete round yeah. just have a look at it though because it might not be wide enough for your lights Look at the diameter of your lights first. Do a practice one okay. and see whether it's big enough. Because I on had my a, machine, I can change the size of it. Yeah. I had one on mine, but I couldn't change the size and it was just too small, uh, which is okay. why I do the free motion. But yeah, if you've got an eyelet or what my friend did, she's got one that does letters. And so she chose the letter O. Oh, perfect. And she got her machine to embroider letters O's everywhere, nice. which worked as well. Um, so the next thing to do, once you've made your hole and you'll and you'll take your thread then that's there and you'll take it to the back and sew it into the just take it into the into the three layers um, let's just do that just take it through so just put your thread onto a needle and just take those just into the back into the you know in between the wadding and the backing just take it out of the way and then you can snip that close up and it'll go back into the into the layer and that disappears those threads right <clears throat> you're going to take need to take and again maybe you want to practice this on the scrap piece of fabric first you're going to take your unpicker your stitch ripper and you're going to poke it into that hole and then on your unpicker there's a like little blade here and you're going to just push that up against that line of stitching and it at first it won't budge and so you'll give it a bit of an extra push and then it'll go and you have to sort of be mindful that you then don't rip through the through the stitches and sometimes you think it's never going to go but it will and you'll feel it and you do sort of like a, a few like crisscross shapes just to make the hole bigger and then you can give it like a wiggle and what about the stilettos? Would they work for that? They would once you've made your hole. And I actually Because they're sharp enough to go through yeah. and make the hole in the first place. They're yeah. really sharp. And actually, I used your fine tip embroidery ones. Because once I've made the hole, because these are so sharp to the end, I was then able to just to snip it. They're all on the web individually as well. But they've, they're really nice because they, they sort of taper to a really, really sharp edge. A really point, sharp edge at, 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 at that point, yeah. So you can see on the back of here, I've got all my lights poked through and I will just, I'm, I've, I've already allocated my lights um, for what I needed. I've got some here, I wanted to put that one in there but it won't go, the, line, the line's not long enough. So I've got two here that are just not going anywhere. Um, your lights will be different as we've said. So. You take your light, and if it's the um, the stringy one, which will be like this, and you've made your loop, you just poke it from the back to the front through that hole you've created, like so. And you know, put your lights on so you can see what it looks like as you're doing it, because that's quite nice to do. And that pokes through like that. And then what I've done is I've just done an overcast stitch and can go close up on that. Mm, it's later. just like a tacking stitch really that I've gone over and over and over just through the backing just to hold, the wa hold that wire down. Because what will happen is over after a couple of years or you might get it out next year and you might think, oh, it's a bit dusty. I want to give it a quick wash. Well, you can't wash it if it's got the lights in. So you just snip through that thread. And I would recommend that if you if you're going to put it away, take the lights out and take your batteries out your light pack as well, because otherwise they'll go fuzzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's it, really. That's how you do it. Yay! So, and yeah. it gives you such a lovely effect and adds a little bit of extra to your advent calendar. And of course, you can do that on any panel, you know, you can add it to um, any wall hanging. Something that's not going to be wrapped around somebody or anything like that you know it's just and the and the battery pack then just sits in that pocket you see and that holds it 
and that adds a bit of weight to your um, wall hanging too so it it helps it hang straighter so the house is all sold out yeah but i can get some more um if we need to of the london one and that would i think the london the one london would be one fab. Will look fabulous yeah and also i can get some more of the santa workshop as well we got the santa workshop one yes we have haven't we we've yeah. got yeah we've got the santa workshop um so yeah i can get i can get those and the train if we if we need more stock of that i yeah. can get those but you can have really good fun fly? with them. They're just, yeah. just lovely, aren't they? Really good fun. Oh, Jane, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Well, Rona's just said that she loved the Advent gift box in 12 Days of Christmas last year. Um, have you thought of a Natasha Makes pin badge or other accessories? Oh, we've thought of all sorts we've of goodies. Uh, do you know what? The only thing that puts me off pin badges um, is the furore when they, when they run out, you know, when I've seen on uh, other places. Yes. Um, uh, badge gate. Um, so yeah well you see there's some of those quilters that that have a whole stash particularly in america they really love their pin badges and they collect them at every show that they go to and and they Can have I them online tell you what i've stuff? just bought yeah. for you guys then if we're talking badges um so this year lisa chandler um whose fabric we all love yes uh, ra uh did an exhibition mm -hmm. and she had made up war you know the waratah you yes. know, in uh, the, that's the like the the, the feature lovely, the big feature flower yeah. in her beautiful beautiful Melba fabric. Got one here, I think. Um, she had pin badges of those made up, to and so she put them with kits for the quilt uh, the tidy kits. Oh, lovely! And um, and then because of COVID, they were they went into lockdown. And she had to finish the exhibition early, so she's got some left over. She's offered them to me. And so they would be the uh, would be the only place to get it outside of Australia, and the only other people that've had it had to go to the quilt fair. So um, cool. If that is something that might tickle your fancy, lovely, yay! Um, Lisa wants to get the <laughs> you want to get the London look. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think I've told that story right. I think that's right, isn't it, Lisa? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. Uh, Gemma's been quiet because she's busily loading up all the House of Zander um, toy patterns because I might have ordered. All of them. All of them. Pretty much. There's pretty much lovely, all of them. There's, there's Halloween things. Yeah. There's just some fabulous things. You're in for a real treat. I love them. Um, everyone's saying that you're a very clever bean. Thank you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, it says, yes, off topic. Uh, <laughs> says someone. I love... I, hang on. Yeah, Elizabeth. Off topic. I love the toys on the top shelf. It looks like uh, that part of the stream has been made into a black and white TV. It's cool. Ah. <laughs> um, so the ones at the, on the top shelf, yes. the dog and everything, they're made out of heirloom, um, heirloom felt, yeah. which is um, slightly coarser, but it's 100% wool. So it will just last and last and last and last and last. They're just really cool, aren't they? They're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that will be Tuesday next week. I love, um, the, I love the elephant because of this. No, it's got hearts on the bottom of the feet. Do you know, I hadn't noticed that. I love them. Oh, bring her over. Show it, get this. She's just gorgeous. I love elephants anyway. But look. They've got hearts on their feet. Oh, look. She's that lovely. was um, Paul Simon, was it? Diamonds on the Diamonds size of the shoes. Diamonds on the size of the shoes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. She's just really cute. Oh, Lisa says she's so excited that she's sending um, all those badges over for, for my ladies. Oh. My ladies. Um, awesome. Um, I am going to do some little Facebook lives because we've just had the brand, we've had some beautiful new collections. We've got um, some of the Snow Leopard collection has come in by Philip Jacobs. We've got that. It's really, really fresh and lovely. Um, Very summery. But Very so cool. yeah, just just look out for those and always watch them back. So once we get those loaded, um, yeah, then we'll and do that. Watch out for the Friday newsletter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there's, there's always, always going to be a fabulous little things. Bargain on there. Well, as we clear the warehouse, there's going to be more and more. Um, and also, uh, we haven't done this yet. We haven't welcomed Lucy to the team. Oh yes, hi, yes. So Lucy yeah. is working for us remotely. Um, and um, she is helping SJ now with customer queries. We had um, a situation with our customer service email whereby 
and this is it. So not we couldn't work out why it always went into people's spam folders. Mm -hmm. And then last week for a few days we didn't, and we didn't realise when it started. It just was blocked completely by our internet provider for some reason. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. So there will be a whole load of you that sent queries that SJ spent ages answering. And that are sitting there thinking, how very rude, they haven't replied. Yes. But we don't oh, no, know. I don't think that. We didn't know that they hadn't gone. We didn't know that they weren't going. We only twigged last Wednesday that, they, that something was wrong with SJ's email account. So all I can do is apologise if you haven't had a reply. You have had a reply. It just possibly hasn't sent... But we don't know who hasn't sent. We has love sent. technology. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, oh, frustrating for SJ because she's really she's on so her. diligent yeah, she about she's replying to every single email. Um, and someone asked the other day why we don't have a phone number, and it's because we don't have the manpower to. No, and we're not all in the same place because SJ works remotely most yeah, of the time, doesn't and she? And we just don't have the manpower to, to man the phones all the time. It may change when we get the It may change. You never the know. Warehouse is an office space. But <laughs> that's the thing. So, And then we can all be in there um, because we can socially distance there if we need to or not. But yeah, so welcome, Lucy. Um, she's a great asset to the team. Very excited that she can join yeah, us. Yes, lovely. So if you do send in any emails and it's suddenly signed off Lucy then you know it's because um, Lucy is joining our team. It's lovely. Hurrah. Exciting. So there we go. Um, now oh, Elizabeth said I sent you an email. Or, is it this Friday something else is happening? No, next no, Friday. Next Friday. Hang on, we'll get to that in Sorry. just a second. Jumping ahead again. Elizabeth said I sent you an email and it said um, I was blocked from that address. I, I thought, oops, I don't believe it. No, it would have been that. It would have no, been that, Elizabeth. Technology, Elizabeth. We think, we think it's sorted. But if anybody does get problems, just um, message us on Facebook. We don't check our messages on Facebook regularly. You'll get a, a thing going up saying, you know, email info out. Because I just, I can't, I can't be on everywhere every, all the time. No, I'll get nothing done. Yeah. Um, but yes, our next Friday is our guest takeover day. You are quite right, Jane. I was getting muddled up. I was thinking it was this week, but it's not. Because next week is the end of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and actually, I haven't told Rachel this. So next week, our guest takeover, we're doing um, a Sew Me Something design from Jules Fallon. Lovely. Uh, but obviously, Jules is busy doing her own her own stuff. Yeah. Um, and Rachel, now, I don't know if I'm going to say her surname right. I want to say Ilsley. I always say it's Ilsley, but... Do you? In my head, Oh, that's yeah. all right then. Um, so Rachel, that's right, Ilsley. <laughs> Er of Er of Magnolia, um, the, you know the Magnolia wedding dress shop. Yes. Um, who I didn't realise that she adjusts over two hundred and fifty wedding dresses a year. That's wow, immense. that's amazing. So if this woman does not know how to sew a top together, then there's no hope for anyone. No, that's right. So lovely Rachel is coming um, to join the Natasha Makes team as a guest takeover day, um, showing you how to make. She, we're going to go with a stretch fabric. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've got some nice jerseys. We've got some, some beautiful ones, jerseys. Yeah. And like, every time I see a nice jersey, I add it to the stock and think, we really need to do a jersey show. Yes. That would really help right now. Um, so she's going to be here. I'm not going to be here because so it clashed. Oh, yeah, you're gallivanting off I'm with gallivanting with you. Kate. <laughs> so Rachel will probably now only know this right now. Um, but Gemma is going to run the show. Yay! About time. And, uh, well, I mean, quite. Yes. And then she said, but what questions do I ask? I went to her, when have you ever struggled? It'll come naturally, won't it? She will be absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, you should get us in one at a time for a Friday takeover. <laughs> Lo, I have no idea how that would go. <laughs> It'll be good fun. It would be great fun. <laughs> what will also be great fun. Um, Elizabeth says, would you behave, Lo? Well, of course. I think we know I'm the answer is no. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different answers from both of us there. Um, do you know what? Uh, yeah, a customer takeover day. That would be hilarious. It would be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. um, righty, people, we need to, we need to get crack a -lacking. So yeah. thank you ever so much. Um, and yeah, maybe, oh, do we, do we let Lo do a Friday takeover? She could do a remote hypnotherapy session on us all. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lo just says, why would I behave? You see, <laughs> I rest my case. I am vindicated. Um, all righty, people. I will um, do a Facebook Live later on in the week. And um, Jane, give us a wave. 
Bye, everybody. Bye Have bye. fun. Happy Christmas. Enjoy the sunshine.